Hello and a very warm welcome. I'll take a seat. This is an update on my channel. As you know, I do F1 reactions to qualify into the race and I do a preview. I've been slacking recently and I apologise. This is an update and we are going to talk about the goings on in F1. This could go on for a long time, but I apologise. Basically, I don't earn anything from YouTube. I'll be honest with you, the only time I've ever earned something from YouTube was the video I did on Max Verstappen, 2016 Masterclass at Brazil. 21,000 views and 133 likes. That is my best video on YouTube out of the 90 I've done or 100 I've done. It, it just blew up. I don't know why it blew up. It was just me sat where I am now giving my opinion and it blew up. I don't know why. Obviously, I hope it happens again because basically I do this for fun. I don't do it for money. I have a full-time job Monday to Friday usually and recently I've been doing Saturdays so I don't have time to do these videos. As much as I want to do these videos, the basic bottom line of the, what I'm trying to say is my job is my income. I don't earn anything from YouTube. It was all about having fun on YouTube. Like, if I earn money from it, great. But that's not the cause for me. I've got a job. I don't really need to earn YouTube. If I earn money from YouTube, great. But this is me being honest. I've slacked at Canada and Baku. It's not been acceptable. It's not acceptable for me. It's not acceptable for a subscriber. So each and every one of you who has subscribed to me, a guy who sits on his sofa and gives his opinion, I apologise. But I'm going to book up my ideas. Uh, we've got Austria next. And by by the way, race of the season at Baku. Um, so many controversial points. Hamilton's headrest coming undone. Hamilton, did he break test or did he lift? Vettel literally doing a Ronnie Pickering and road raging on an F1 track. Would you ever see the light? We've got Lance Stroll, hugely criticised, lands on the podium. Should have been second, but Valtteri Bottas opens his DRS and gets second. Unbelievable scenes. The two Finns collide once again. Bottas and Kimi, they're like magnets. Perez and Ocon, controversial at Canada. Perez should have let Ocon have a go at Ricardo, and they collide at Baku. Um, what else happened? So much happened. Race of the season at Baku, 110%. I'm sorry I didn't do a race reaction, but you know how it is. Work is the priority for me, I'm sorry to say, but it is. It's got to be. That's my income. That's how I live. Um, if I ever get famous on YouTube, YouTube will be my... Uh, priority and my income you gotta do what's best for you you gotta do what's best for you and your family i mean i i only started youtube because i'm passionate about sports i'm passionate about manchester united i'm passionate about f1 and i like gaming so basically all roll them into one and i started up a youtube channel and the max video brazil 2016 21,000 likes, 100, no, <laughs> what am I on about, sorry, cuts, no, we don't cut on this channel, if we make a mistake, we publicise it, 21,000 views and 133 likes, that's my best ever video, best ever viewed video, best ever liked video, will I ever top that, I believe so, because if Max doesn't mega show, it seems like Max, is my like what's the word I'm looking for if Max does well and I do a video about it it seems to blow up I don't know why it just does and he was a mega star at Brazil one of the best drives I've ever seen 19 years of age nearly christens it in the barrier passing 15 cars left right and centre oh absolute epic but let me know your thoughts for me, you know I'm a Hamilton fan, and I'll criticise Hamilton if he's in the wrong. Uh, Monaco 2011, the worst race Hamilton's ever done ever. 
uh, crash with um, Massa at the hairpin, crash with Maldonado. He was so bad that day. The worst race I've ever seen him do in his F1 career. I'll criticise him if he's in a run, but what did he do wrong? He's the leader of the Grand Prix. He accelerated, lifted off, and Vettel runs into the back of him. He did not brake check Vettel. As telemetry shows. No telemetry shows that Hamilton braked. He basically accelerated. Lifted off. He's the dictator of the pace. And Vettel's running into the back of him. And then what Vettel did. Is literally Ronnie Pickering-esque. He pulled alongside Hamilton. And turned into him. No. I'll go further than that. It's Maldonado-esque. We've seen Maldonado do it. Not once. Twice. He did it to Perez in Monaco. And he also did it to Hamilton in Spa. This is a four-time world champion who has pulled alongside a three-time world champion and used his car as a weapon. It's unacceptable. The FIA are looking into it. Ten-second penalty he got for it, and he still managed to finish ahead of Hamilton in Baku. For me, it wasn't a strong enough penalty. And that's not being, being me being biased. That is me being true and fair. I think he should have got a tense... I think... He should get a 10 place grid drop at Austria. And if Vettel's going to have to be super cautious at Austria, any contact, another three points on his license, he'll get a race ban for Silverstone. Um, I've made this video longer to make up for Canada and uh, Baku. It's not acceptable on my behalf, but you've got to under. The moral of the story is work is my priority. That's what gives me. That's what makes me live. YouTube doesn't make me live. It was just a, always a hobby. A hobby that I want to grow, obviously. But this is me being straight. You don't get this on YouTube. You tell it how it... All, I've always been like that. You tell it how it is. Or, what's the point? And basically, I've been working. And that's why I didn't do a Canada or Baku like race reaction qualifying video. But I hope to get back on Austria. Um, looking forward to it. The title, it, it's intense now. It was all nicey-nicey between the, uh, Hamilton and Vettel, but it's not nicey-nicey now. Vettel has literally done a Maldonado. He's pulled alongside Hamilton and said, Do you know who I am? I'm a four-time world champion! Sebastian who? Vettel! Vettel! Yeah, he's almost Ronnie Pickering-esque. Back who was a cracker. And Canada wasn't bad either. Lewis Hamilton dominates at Canada. What a record he's got around that track, must I say. And every time, I mean, you look, Baku, Mercedes. I mean, whoever fit, fitted that headrest at the restart should be sacked immediately. P45, adios. Because basically, Hamilton was winning that race. I don't care if you're a Lewis Hamilton lover or a Lewis Hamilton hater. Vettel was behind him, couldn't keep up with him. Lewis Hamilton was winning that race 100%. His headrest comes loose, and whoever made it loose at Mercedes should be sacked instantly. And basically, Vettel pulls alongside Hamilton, drives into him, and he somehow finishes ahead of Hamilton. So every time Mercedes or Ferrari fuck up, Ricardo's there to pick up the pieces. The smiling assassin from Australia. Then you've got the delightful Finn from Finland. Valtteri Bottas slip, slip, slip streams Lance Stroll. Was about 10 seconds behind him, catching him at a second a lap. Lance Stroll, the 18-year-old. Does he crumble? No, he doesn't. But Bottas gets a massive toe. DRS wide open. Beats... Stroll to the line, but Stroll hever, heavily criticised, a bit like Maldonado, I think he's got his own crash website up, how many times does Maldonado crash, how many times does Stroll crash, well he's got a podium, I mean, absolutely wonderful for him, Max, for, Max again, Red Bull, unreliable, Unre, unreliable in calendar, was running second engine um, and then running uh, I can't remember where he was at Baku he was running strong again and goes again Fernando Alonso getting points McLaren get points way McLaren get points let's all do the conga do 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 
<laughs> yeah, but let's be serious. McLaren, they've won championships, race wins. They used to winning stuff. And everyone's getting a hard-on about scoring two points. Fernando Alonso gets nine, scores two points. Unacceptable, not good enough. But McLaren, where did they go? Uh, Fernando Alonso, definitely... 100% I'm saying it right now, down the lens to you, he will not be a McLaren Honda driver next year. And I don't care whether you're blue, pink, or whatever, he will not be at McLaren next year. McLaren are a joke. They've tarnished their name, really. A, a team that's in that red and white McLaren, dominating championships, Senna, Prost, um, just tarnished their name. Um, but anyway, we've been going 12 minutes. This was an update video. I am going to call it the update video. A review of Canada, Baku, me talking to you. As a subscriber to other YouTube channels, I would not be happy with what I've been producing. But I've explained my circumstances. Work is my income. It's my priority. YouTube is a hobby. Hopefully, YouTube will become my income, but we'll, you'd never know what the future holds. Let's just see what happens. Thanks for watching. Any comments, I'll always reply. You know me. I'm Bob on with the comments. Um, if you've not subscribed, subscribe, like, comment, do that all good stuff. I'll see you next time. Hopefully for an Australia preview. Adios. See you next time. Cheers.